Hi, I'm Gunther Hager. I'm the design director of Cursed Mountain. Today, we'll take a closer look at Cursed Mountain. The player starts in Lando, a small village located at an altitude of 5,000 meters and ends up on the summit of Jomolonzo at more than 8,000 meters. In order to get there, Eric will pass the rich and diversified scenery of the Himalayas, including smaller villages, terraced fields, ice glaciers and mountain passes. The further he ascends, the harsher the threats of the environment will get. If you don't play tactically, Eric can crash into the ice, be blown off the mountain by strong gusts of wind and run out of oxygen and stamina in the upper heights called the Death Zone. Even though Cursed Mountain takes place on a fictional mountain, the topography and the geography of the area is based on real-world satellite data. We try to convey the hostile world of high altitude climbing as best as possible in order to catch the authentic and dangerous atmosphere of mountaineering. The setting requires a great impression of distance. The entire country is set at such a high altitude that looking up at over 8000 meter high mountains and also looking down again is a vital part of the experience. Though Cursed Mountain is a linear game experience, the entire world is visible to the player at all times. This means, standing in Lando, the first level in the game, you can actually see the complete trail up to the summit. The same applies when you're further up on Chamolonzo, at which point you can turn back and see all the levels that you've already passed and accomplished. We think that this is a completely new and astonishing feature on the Wii platform. What the player experiences is very scary and violent. Half of the people that climb up these mountains die up there and are left behind. You will encounter dead bodies, frozen mummies and fear-inducing Buddhist rituals. Cursed Mountain is violent in the sense of ever-present danger, very aggressive environments and enemies. Thanks for tuning in to find out more about the actual world of Cursed Mountain. Stay tuned as there is more to come.